Here are those yellow morels that uh, we just picked. You can see in one picking, I filled the sink up here. They're real nice morel mushrooms. Now the thing with the larger morel mushrooms like this, they're not as good tasting as the small yellows, the whites, the grays, the blacks. Uh, the smaller ones do have more flavor. And these will make several good meals and will taste great. To clean morels, what I do, I'll put them in a tub of water like this and just rinse them. Then I will transfer them over to another tub, fill that up with water, and I'll hit them with salt, pretty heavy. That way it'll get all the bugs out of them, they'll come crawling out. Once I've let that set for a couple hours, then I'll bring them back through. I'll use this dispenser as I'm moving them over. I'll rinse them off with this, throw them in another clean tub of water. Once I've done that, I will take the ones that I'm gonna eat right away I'll put them on a towel and let them dry. And uh, they may dry here for an hour before I fry them up. And they'll be ready to eat. These here are the big yellows. You can see here. I will take these and I'll cut these in half again so they'll be quarters when we fry them up. It'll be a little easier to fry them. Now if I was going to freeze these for later usage, I'd do the same thing. I'd let these towel dry as many as I want. Then I'd put them on a cookie sheet and stick them in the freezer for an hour, maybe two, let them freeze up. Then I would put them in my flour mix with my Lowry's. And then I'd put them in a container. If you have a vacuum seal, that's perfect. Put them in a vacuum seal, seal them up, put them in the freezer. They're not quite as good as air fresh, but they are pretty good still.